start out in butterfly guard, not with closed guard. I want you to get in the habit of taking your left hand, pulling the collar open, and then you're gonna insert your left hand so that the back of your hand is on their back. And that the side, the top of your forearm next to your thumb is right against the side of their neck. And then I want you to pull the cloth on top of the uh, lapel. Okay, so one hand opens it up, second hand inserts, and then I'm going to grab the cloth. As I grab the cloth, I'm also going to pull and make the cloth tight on the other side. Let's turn this way, please. This is very subtle, sometimes hard to see. Many make the mistake of just doing this. Give you a Do you see all this space back here? That is gonna add to the amount of strength that is gonna require you to actually finish this choke. Because when you put the second hand in, and many people will put the second hand in and they'll put it in shallow, do you see that space between his neck and the lapel? When I start to put pressure on, how does that feel? No, Nothing. Tight. Because I got two inches of play. So left hand opens, right hand inserts, and then I like to take the left hand and pull and get rid of all that space. So that when I put the second hand in, I touch my thumbs together. And then I put pressure on. That's like 20, 25% pressure. I haven't really started to involve my back or anything yet. You feel the difference between yeah. the two? Mm -hmm. So, please, let's turn this way. Left hand opens, right hand inserts, left hand pulls and gets rid of all of the slack. Okay. Our second hand is going to insert when they move. As Diego goes to pass my guard to his right, I put the second hand in, and then I'm going to finish. Yeah, but he's past your guard. It doesn't matter. So, left hand opens, right hand inserts, and I pull. Now, to get the left hand into play, I'm going to take my left hand and insert right underneath the chin, and then you'll find that you're gonna have difficulty, especially with this being tight, getting the hand in deep initially. So your left hand is gonna to have to push out and push the lapel over top of the shoulder so that you can get your hand in and touch your thumbs together behind uh, his head. Left hand opens, right hand inserts, left hand makes it tight. Left hand pushes out over the shoulder and then I insert the left hand. I try and touch my thumbs together behind his head. Then, with my forearms like this, I'm gonna turn and try and take the outside and top portion of my forearm and touch the top of his clavicle. Watch my hands rotate. Then as my hands rotate, I pull his forehead on top of my clavicle and then I pull my elbows to ba uh, back and push my chest forward and look up at the ceiling. Okay, that is our first choke. So what I'd like you to do is first do it without any movement on his part. And then the second way I want you to do it is insert the right hand and wait for your partner to move. And as he moves, then you insert, and the same joke. Okay, let's grab a partner, let's do this. Same thing, please. Scale of one to 10? One. One. Now I'm going to wiggle my thumbs and I'm going to pull my elbows back and stick my chest forward. No increase in strength in my hands. And if you'll notice, I didn't even twist. I held my hands in the same position. My elbows go back and I'm trying to use the strength of my back 
And as my elbows go back, I'm also going to use the weight of my back. Or I should say the weight of my upper torso. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Trying to uh, broaden your horizons and get you beyond this. Doing this. Fight the urge to do this. Matter of fact, if I see you do this in a seminar, I'm going to make you do a thousand push ups. Do not raise your elbows up. It's not the strength of the arms. You put your hands in a position and you see my hands wiggle. Yet the pressure keeps going on. Why? Because it's the strength of my back. Now, same thing, hands don't move. I increase and then I put my back onto the ground. No <coughs> twist. This is where we started everything, right? Um, sometimes you have people who do uh, defenses that are not so good, like they put the hand next to their neck. There you go. The hand, see I can tell uh, he's been properly trained because he put his forearm there. That's how you're supposed to do the defense. You put the hand next to the neck. You still tap. With collar chokes, I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care if they are a world champion. Do not put your hands on your neck. It doesn't help. You put your forearm, you reach up and you grab the back of your neck. So you insert the first hand and they decide to properly defend this. So as they do this, now I'm going to grab a hold of the other lapel, but I'm not going to choke. I'm going to squeeze my elbows together and push my right elbow down closer to my wrist. Go ahead and pull your right arm back, please. It's not coming back, it's mine. Then I'm going to pull his head onto my chest, lift with my right foot and turn to my left and come on top of him. Where do I go from here? I don't know. Maybe I'd like going mount and try and insert the left hand. So the finish doesn't matter. What I want you to do is get in the habit of uh, sweeping. So when do I grab? When he has a hold of my gi pants, the neck is open. Now I start to go for the collar chokes, but him sensing this, now he starts to defend. Left hand will insert, and I put my elbows together. Otherwise, pull your arm free, please. The arm comes free very easily. Again. Then I pull the weight on top of me. I want to separate his butt from his heels. Then I lift and put him on his back. Thank you. Grab a partner, please. Let's go with choke number one with elevator switch.